Welcome to Make Workshop, where we check out tools, toys, and tech built for makers. Today, we're looking at the Michelangelo 5. Now what this is, is a vertical plotter. That is a plotter or a, a computer controlled drawing machine that hangs on a vertical surface like a wall or a window. This is the Michelangelo 5 from Marginally Clever Robotics. It's just under $400 Canadian for the complete kit. It comes with everything you need to start drawing except paper. Although you could just draw directly on the glass with what it comes with. Uh, you can find more information about this robot and the other robots that they make at marginallyclever.com. Let's start with what you find in the box on this. What comes in the box is the machine fully assembled as well as the 3D printed pieces for the pendant that just snap together real quick and the two belts and weights. Uh, you'll also find an SD card, um, a Sharpie, and some instructions. To operate this, you're going to use the software you can get from Marginally Clever Robotics. It has a few different modes. You can load an image in and convert it to what the plotter uses. And, and there are different like methods of generating the image. There's zigzag lines and spiral lines and even a, uh, a test version of a CMYK one built in as well. I gave that a run and recreated this picture of a macaw that you can see here. And the results were pretty cool. You can operate this from the computer and the software that you can get from Marginally Clever Robotics or you can drop your files onto an SD card and operate it off of the built-in interface here on the front of the machine. That's especially nice if you're doing it out in public and don't want to leave your laptop sitting there while it's operating. Now if you're looking for a plotter for ultimate precision, this probably isn't the plotter for you. This one I've seen at a lot of maker fairs and events out for public demonstrations and it always draws a crowd and it's more of a display piece. Um, the pendant dangling down means you know that it can bounce around a little bit so you're not getting perfect ultimate precision out of it but that's not what it's meant for. Another thing to keep in mind is that the flatter the surface you have it mounted to, the better it's going to work. I tried it on that board mounted uh, in front of my workbench here, and that board was actually curved a little bit from being leaned against a wall in a humid shop, and I found that that caused a few issues with the pendant not sitting perfectly against the board at all spots during the image. But as long as you put it on something flat, you really shouldn't have that problem. So there it is. Pretty cool. Be sure to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and click that little notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we put out a new video.